What's up everybody? It's November 7th, 2011. We've just got done witnessing the verdict of the doctor of Michael Jackson. They've pled him guilty of involuntary manslaughter and they've handcuffed him. When I was watching it, now I'm taking the trash off to the dump. I'm headed to Walmart to get me some grapes and celebrate. We gotta realize what these handcuffs mean. We gotta realize that Michael Jackson was handcuffed for not even committing a crime. He never committed no crime. Remember, he healed the children who come to Neverland. They come there with, the dise with diseases, they left with no disease, you know? That's why he was handcuffed, similar to Jesus. This is such a big day, though. This is such a big day because, see, really, <clears throat> if Dr. Murray is guilty of involuntary manslaughter for the drugs and everything he was doing, should we maybe open our eyes to saying maybe other doctors are guilty of this same thing? I've had family members. I had an aunt. She died. She died on the operating table. How do I know that wasn't a propofol overdose when they put them to sleep? How do I know that? You know? But that ain't just me. I know everybody out there. We've had... It's affecting us all. And here in America, I don't know if it's as bad worldwide, but here in America, the drugs... And I'm not talking about the ones being sold illegally on the streets behind, you know, trash cans or whatever. Even though a lot of them are bad too. I'm talking about the ones that are out in the open. <clears throat> there, it's it's evil, evil, bad, bad stuff going on. And if Dr. Murray is guilty, then I. I my warning is to the other doctors, all these, all the doctors out here in the world that's practicing the same type of medicine, y'all better watch out. <laughs> y'all better watch out because there's a change coming. We're going to get back to what real medicine is. We're going to get back to actually helping people, providing the proper care, not improper care. We're gonna start giving them the proper food. You go to hospitals and stuff, they serve horrible food. They put people and put tons of drugs in them, then give them horrible food that they don't even eat. Probably the best thing they get there is their water. You know, they'll have a have water dripping at them and drink water. I mean, to me, that's just my opinion. I've never seen much good come out of it. I've seen a lot of good stuff, but it just seems like later on down the road, this one little problem that could have been treated like in a simple way now has been treated in a very difficult way and it's made 10 more problems come up out of it. Our medical system's messed up. They say we health care. I mean, we don't have no health care. It's just, but we could. We could in a blink of an eye. I mean, it only takes a second. And we could, we could change this whole thing change it all and start helping people helping our elderly helping our children I mean my goodness there's nothing harder to go to than a children's hospital there is nothing harder to go to it's just it's so difficult because you see you see pure life and then you see a little kid there bald you know and he's smiling full of life and you're, you're sitting there thinking how horrible am I you know, my problems are so minuscule compared to this. And then look at this child just sitting there, you know. They don't even know what's going on, but we could be helping our children so much because so many children are getting all these diseases so much earlier. They need help. Our children need help. There, there's no doubt about it. And it just seems like Instead of helping our children, all we keep doing is adding more vaccinations and inoculations on their list. So they got to have this shot, and they got to have this, and they got to take this pill. And I don't know, why do the numbers keep rising so much? 
if, if, if we're getting so smart at medicine, why does these diseases for our children, why is it hitting them so hard right now? Why? You know, why? Is there a better answer? Of course there's a better answer. God's got a better answer for us. He does. And it's, it's, it's coming into view. We can see it. I mean, it's, it's right there. And we, we got to get it. We got to all get this. And the way we get it is we all get together. We got to come into agreement. Have all things in common. We got to love. We got to share. We got to just help each other and start treating, treating, treat yourself with love. Love yourself. You got to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you're not going to be able to love anybody else. And you sure ain't going to love God. I mean, we got to, we just, that's what we got to get to grips with. There's big things happening. And I mean, I feel it. I feel it. Watching, watching that. Watching that verdict today, I mean, it's, y'all know, all the believers, y'all know, it's getting wild. It's getting good here. There's big things happening. And if Dr. Murray is guilty, which he was guilty and handcuffed, you know, pretty immediately. I mean, that just, to me, makes a lot of other people guilty. <clears throat> but I still don't blame it on the doctors. I think it's deeper. I think it's deeper. I mean... Satan's running our medical system and God's ways, remedies, you know, how he designed it for us aren't allowed, they're laughed at, they're, you know, it's just, well, that's a joke, that stuff don't work, that can't work, that can't do that, that can't do that, I've heard my whole life, it can't do that, it can't do that, you know, well, I've listened my whole life jokes about Michael Jackson. I've listened to the, the, these jokes ever since I've been a young kid, you know. It's 93, I was six years old, and then the jokes started coming. You know, I was a fan with him, and then I was bombarded with all this. And then I woke up. I woke up probably, and I don't know, way before he died. I mean, I re-became a fan, but it's, wow, you know, this is it. <laughs> It's unbelievable what they did to just one person, you know, for for what he did do and what he did share with the world and providing love, providing so much inspirational music and just emotion that it's just unbelievable, but it is believable. And we're, it's not done. <laughs> He's coming to give it again. And and this, this is it. It's building. The curtain's about to rip open. I mean, the, the dance is going to begin. It's on. It's time to jam. You know, just go with it. Jam. That's what we got to do. Fans, believers, grow this army of love. We got to grow it. We grow it by getting to work. You know, justice is being served. We're, we're seeing that right now. But it's only begun. <laughs> justice is coming. It's going to be served to the world. We got to get to work, though. Army of love. Thank you.